first we're going to open Adobe Fresco and we're going to create an 8x8 canvas at 300 ppi so I'll click on custom I'll go to inches and I'll make it 8 by 8 at 300 ppi and that makes it where if we want to print it it will be clear so I'll create a document I'll pinch with two fingers to reduce the size of my canvas where it fits on the screen better and then I'll go to the next to the last icon on the left hand side and I will go to my CC libraries to bring in my drawings here is the Christmas and I'm going to take this down just a little so it fits a little more inside there and click done and then I'm going back to that same icon to bring in my color palette make this a little bigger and click done and I'm going to lock that layer so that I don't accidentally paint on it and then on my sketch layer which is my second layer I'm going to my the second icon on the right down is the layer properties and I'm going to change that from normal to multiply and I might take the opacity down just a little not too much I want to be able to see it and then click that again and close that up now I'm going to lock this layer so that I don't paint on it so I'll click lock and I'm done the third layer down is blank and that's where I'm going to start painting I'm going to come in a little closer so I can put my finger on this top color and select it okay and then I will go down here and I'm going to use just the basic round the basic hard round variable is what I'm going to use and I'm going to start coloring this part of the ribbon it could be a little bigger so I'll change my size to about 40 cover a little more territory and I'm just gonna go pretty much inside my lines here now the reason it went over this line right here is because this layer got on top of my drawing so I'm gonna bring this down by pressing holding and dragging to put that layer under my sketch and now my sketch will show at all times and I'm just going to go along here and paint this in I'll probably go around the edges first and then just fill in the center with bigger strokes I can use my eraser, which is the fourth icon down on the left, to tidy up where I went across and painted too, too close to the edge. And I can just paint my color back in when I went too far with the eraser. And I'll go ahead and do the other parts of this color and do my fill all at one time.
So I'll resize my brush so that I can cover more territory there in the middle and just fill this in. Another way I could fill it in is to use the paint bucket tool, which is the ape icon down on the left. I'll click on that, tap once, and it fills. That one's already filled, tap, and done. Click back on my brush. And I have that color on one layer. I like all of my colors on separate layers so that if I need to make a correction, it's much easier. So I will lock this layer and create, it has created the layer underneath that I'm going to paint the little green Christmas trees on. On this fourth layer is where I'm going to paint the, the green trees, but I have to move it above what we just painted so it will be painted on top. So I'll press, hold, drag that up. And now I'm going to use the green, select my color, and got to resize my brush. And I'm only going to do a couple of these and then I'll speed it up so that you don't have to watch me paint 30 or 40 little trees. So I've got to get my size down here very very small see how this is yeah that looks pretty good uh, two two finger tap is an undo three finger is a redo so let's do a couple of these so I'll just go and I'll use that fill bucket tool to just tap and fill those. So now I'll speed this up and I'll go ahead and do the rest of them. Now I'm going to paint the dots on this by the Christmas trees in the color red. So I'll go up here and select my color by pressing on the red. And go back to my brush. It's going to have to be pretty small. Let's go see where we are doing this. So I'll go over here and I'll just touch. Oh, I've got to add a layer. Oh, well, first I want to lock my tree layer so I'll do that and then I will create a layer a new layer by the plus sign and that's too small and let's see if I can just tap or if I have to do a circle no I think I can just tap and that will give me a little red dot. Now I'm going to lock that layer, the layer with the red dots. And I'm going to start on the green plaid part of the ribbon. So I'm going to go up here. First I'll create a layer. And then I'll go up here and get my light green. And 
and I will begin probably by going around the inside edges. So it'll be a little bigger. And I will paint on this layer. If at any time you would like to speed up the video, you can click on the little gear shift, little circle on the gear underneath the, the video, and that will take you to, that will take you to some options you have. You can do the playback speed and you can change it from normal to slow to fast to speed up this video whenever you want. I will speed it up in some places, but if I don't speed it up enough or speed it up too much, you can change it yourself. Whatever makes you comfortable. Now I'll fill this using the paint bucket tool. And that was a quick paint. Now we're going to make our first clipping mask. And above the layer that I just made with the light green, I'm going to click the plus button to add a layer. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to click the little box that has the down arrow. And that's gonna clip whatever I paint in this layer onto this light green. So I can paint without having to worry about going outside the lines. So I'm going to do the dark green stripes. So I'll choose my dark green. And you can see that as I brush across, the, the stroke does not go outside the green. It's clipped, makes it very, very convenient. Now I'm going to merge the clip layer down onto the light green. I'm going to press and I'm going to merge down. So now all of that's on one layer. Then I'm going to create a new layer, create another clipping mask, and I'm going to go with the light green. which I can go into my color and just tap on that. And I'm just going to put some slash marks here. And that's too big. So I have to make my brush smaller.
and now I'm going to merge my clip layer down again. Press and merge down. So now all of that green ribbon part is on one layer. Now I'm going to lock the green layer and create a new one to paint the berries. I'm going to paint them red and accent the crosshatch with the dark red. Time for another clipping mask. Make the brush smaller. Now, if I'm happy with how that looks, I will merge that down. So now the berries are on one layer. And now we're going to start on the lettering. It's done in the red. I can just go over here and press, get the red. And this is a good bit of lining, so a little bigger than that. And tedious, so I'll probably speed up this part. I'm going to select the top layer, which is the color palette, and I'm going to click on the eyeball, or the eye, which is on the right column, 
right under the plus mark. And I'm going to turn that off because we don't need it anymore. Everything from now on we're doing in black. So let's go ahead and click on this bottom one on the left column where it's red right now. And we're just going to go click on the black. And we're going to use the same brush, but probably smaller because we're going to do all of our line work. I'll start by working on the little sprays that come out here and we'll get all those done. And this all is on a layer right under the sketch. So I'll click on the layer under the sketch, put a plus, and now I have an empty layer there to add my black line work. <clears throat> so let's see how big our, see that's too big. So we'll go smaller. That's more like it. And that's at about seven or eight. So I will start by outlining these little sprigs that are out here. And that's on, will now be what's the third layer. Now I'm going to continue doing all of the line work on the ribbon, the berries, and the lettering. And I may speed it up and slow it down from time to time depending on what I'm working on. And that's where we'll go from here.
Okay, I think I've got everything, but I'm going to the second layer that's still locked up there that has the sketch on it, and I want to select that and then click on the eye to get rid of the, all of the sketch so that only I only see the line work. And I can just take a look around, make sure that I got everything. Looks like I did. So now we're actually finished with our project. But what I like to do when I do clip art like this or paintings like this, I like to go to the bottom layer, which is the white layer, and I want to turn the uh, visibility off on that so that this now becomes a transparent background. This means that I can use this digitally in scrapbook pages, greeting cards, or whatever else I want to do. So from here, I would click in the upper right on the box with the up arrow to export and then publish and export and then it shows me a picture of what I've done here and I want to export it as a PNG export and then I tell it where I want to export it to and I will send mine to the creative cloud which is how I transfer everything and it's already done that and then I click done and then when I go back this way, it shows that I still have this here on my recent. And I can open this and make adjustments or changes or additions or whatever I want to do. But this has saved the file on my iPad. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.